With the launch of Windows 10 happening sometime soon in 2015, we figured it would be an opportune time to give you all a head start on what to expect from Microsoft's latest iteration of Windows. This is Features and Tips for Windows 10. With a light activation and silent tactile bump, Topra Type Heaven keyboards bring the best of both worlds. I've always enjoyed using Windows 7. I never really liked Windows 8 or 8.1 from the very get-go. Here are some tips for those of you who are maybe considering jumping ship from Windows 7 to Windows 10. But first, just a little background on our Windows 10 technical preview setup here. We took an old Ultrabook that was missing its hard drive and slapped in a brand new SSD. Next, I took a few hours downloading and installing Windows 10 Technical Preview, which is available right now for everyone to check out. Links in the description if you're interested. We then attached a touchscreen monitor to the Ultrabook so that we could experience both methods of input on Windows 10. All right, so first off, the start menu. Yes, they officially brought it back, but this time around, it's got live tiles on it as well as the regular start menu items. The tip here is that the start menu is now resizable. Just mouse over on the edge of the menu and resize to your heart's content. This next tip is for our Windows 8.1 users who absolutely love the start screen, but could care less about the start menu. I mean, that's fine, we, we won't judge you. You can actually switch back and forth between the two in Windows 10 now, but for some reason, it will force you to sign out every time you change it. Here's how to do it. For our touchscreen friends out there, tap and hold anywhere on the taskbar and tap properties. Underneath the start menu tab up top, uncheck use the start menu instead of the start screen. Hit apply and a window will pop up asking you to save your work. Just tap sign out and change settings. For our keyboard and mouse friends, you just need to right click on the taskbar to get the same procedure going. Speaking of right clicking on the taskbar, you can actually now right click or long tap on the start menu and find a bunch of features or apps that otherwise would have taken a bit more digging to have found them in the first place. Take control panel for instance. You can now just long tap and tap to get to where it's at, whereas before it was swipe, tap, tap. I mean, it's one less tap, but still, it's faster. With Windows 10, you can now create new desktops to separate different projects you might be working on. With touchscreen, you can swipe in from the left, but for those of you without a touchscreen, use the keyboard shortcut Windows Control D, where the D is for desktop. For the pinned file explorer icon on your desktop, when you open it up, it brings you to the home folder. Here you can have access to your pinned favorite apps that are usually in the leftmost pane, the most frequent folders you have used, and recent files you've accessed. Speaking of pinning things, the recycle bin can be now pinned to your taskbar as well. Some people might find this very useful like me, while others may prefer to leave the recycle bin where it is on the desktop. There is also now a notification center right next to the clock and taskbar. This will show you things like new emails, messages, upcoming events, recently installed apps or programs, and even tweets. Finally, you can copy and paste in command prompt. It might not seem like a big deal, but I was super excited to hear about it. It works just like it sounds, just hit control C or control V in command prompt and that's pretty much it. I mean, copy and paste. So that wraps it up for this quick little guide on some tips and features for the upcoming Windows 10. Now keep in mind, this was the technical preview, so not everything is finalized. We still haven't seen Cortana or the new Spartan browser that Microsoft's developing. So leave a comment down below. Let us know what iteration of Windows you're currently using and whether or not you're planning to switch over the 10. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll see you later.